The Cape Floral Kingdom is located at the southern tip of Africa. Botanists divide the world into six floral kingdoms based on the vegetable species that grow in each one. Five of these six kingdoms occupy entire continents and their adjacent islands. The vegetation of Eurasia and North America, for example, make up a single kingdom which covers almost the entire northern hemisphere. Another covers Australia, a third covers the land of southeastern Asia, and the next two are found in South America and the greatest part of Africa. The Cape Floral Kingdom, also called the Regional Endemisms Center or Finbos, is the smallest one of all occupying only 0.04% of the planet's land surface, and yet it contains a great number of endemisms than the rest of the gigantic floral kingdoms of the world. This floral kingdom borders the cold waters of the Atlantic to the west and the milder waters of the Indian Ocean to the east. The union of the two oceans and the advanced southern latitude result in a mild climate with an average temperature of almost 17 degrees centigrade. The entire area is protected by a network of more than 20 reserves and national parks, which are responsible for protecting a natural environment which is as rich in endemic species as it is unknown to most people. The western coast of South Africa is bathed by currents from the Benguela, which originates in the Antarctic Ocean. When it hits the subantarctic waters along its northerly course, it submerges beneath them until it has almost reached the continental mass of Africa, where it is pushed upward, carrying with it a vast amount of nutrients. The flow of nutrients causes life to proliferate on the western coast of South Africa and Namibia as sites of extraordinary biological wealth. The breakwaters are the playground of fur seals at the Cape. These seals, which reproduce on the solitary rocky islets near the coast, reach the shore to rest from their fishing incursions, forming a boisterous colony. Fur seals have been hunted by man for at least 400 years. Thousands of seals have died on the southern coasts of the African continent at the hands of European hunters greedy for their precious skins. Luckily, in 1990, the South African authorities banned seal hunting because it was not known for sure what role their colonies play in the South African fishing industry. Since then, they have enjoyed a promising armistice thanks to which the population has recovered and now stands at one million specimens. Fur seals eat fish, cephalopods and crustaceans, although they have occasionally been known to attack and devour South African penguins, a seriously endangered species.
All of the islets used by the penguins as brooding colonies are protected as natural preserves or part of the national park. But the struggle with the seals continues, and there does not seem to be an easy remedy. Fleeing from the seals, some penguins have nested on the coast. But these colonies are dangerous for laying because penguins build their nests on the ground, and the eggs and chicks are easy prey for predators which do not exist on the islands. <laughs> 